On this Wednesday, November 25th, morning prayer begins on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the, the Father, Father and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Venite on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm for today is Psalm 119, verses 145 through 176 on page 775. Psalm 119, verses 145 through 176, page 775. I call with my whole heart, answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O oh, that you would save me, I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold, my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments, O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and I have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live, and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through, and there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a t chief tax collector and rich. He sought to see who Jesus was, but could not on account of the crowd, because he was small of stature. 
So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah on page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A on page 97. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We remember this day the human family and ask God to build relationships within this human family. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We also remember this day all those who are sick, especially those with the coronavirus. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that all those who are affected by the coronavirus this day, for whom our prayers are offered, may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. And finally, on this day we pray for peace in the times of confusion. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.